Hey guys, time for a new video on my channel. Today, me and Paige are going to be reviewing Psycho. By the way, this is a steelbook. By the way, yeah, it's chipping, so I will get the Masterpiece Collection on Blu-ray. Because, so, you know... Um, so now what do you... I would like to add a few you things. Like First of all, I'm not this tall. It's just my chair is yeah. a lot taller than his. Because mine is pink and it's from my room. Yeah. Um, next... I would like to say, Jared, this is not a Blu-ray review. It's not about how yeah. well it doesn't scratch or how pretty the packaging is or Don't anything like that. I, I, know, I know. Also, I heard from Carly, who often sits in here when you're doing your reviews. Or she did once, I think. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Just that. Nope. I'm gonna fine. I'll just talk while you're there. That you're not very specific and that you don't really do reviews, you just kind of say this is good and this is good, but you're not very specific and give them information. So I'm going to be trying to help you with that. Alright, so, um, with me, I really, um, one of the reasons why I really like this movie is because it gets very confusing at some points. Um, well, it gets so twisted and very dark, and, well, of course wow. it's a horror movie. How? Well, I mean, for, first of all, how... And how twisted it is. I mean, do you remember that part where, where um, Anthony Perkins or Norman Bates just like comes to almost kill that girl, but uh, like gets, you know, that guy just blocks it or something. Oh wait, you didn't see up to that point. <laughs> okay. Um. What I liked about this movie is I feel like it really encased old horror movies. By the way, don't spin that. Then you'll, okay. you'll get out of frame. So, it really encased all old horror movies, and I don't want to... Well, it was I the first like slasher movie ever made. Yeah, I'm, I feel like I'm trying I'm trying to avoid doing spoilers, but I mean, if they're... Don't spoil. It, don't spoil anything. I... Well, you, we could do, like, a spoiler spot. Like, sorry, there's spoilers right now, so don't watch if you don't want spoilers, and um, you want to watch. But, how about we spoil the ending? So, um... Eh, so, she Norman Bates' his mother was actually a... She's dead. Yeah. Norman Bates' mother Wait. is actually dead. Um, because He killed her out of a fit of jealousy. And that is explained in Psycho 4. So, basically, he still thinks she's alive and still... Since he's, like, insane and everything. Yeah. She, he still thinks that she's influencing her and influencing him. And he's just, like, having random conversations with no one and he, he thinks it's her and he thinks that her his mom is trying to convince him to kill the woman that just came into his hotel for no reason yeah and you know what she happens is of course she did but, well she stole a bunch of money but not part of not really important that actually kind of is because really what happens is he throws away um anthony perkins who plays norman bates throws out the money so it's not going anywhere um, so then it so wouldn't make sense. It doesn't really have anything to do with it because, like, it that didn't influence him to kill her. Yeah, but um, so it really, really have um, really, it was because as uh, um, Norman Bates brought uh, in someone into a Bates motel, and the ma, and of course his ma, other um, you know, took over his, him completely and decided uh, to you know murder her. So and the way how that happens is whenever he puts on her clothes and what I remember her, about yeah, this just, movie is that while I was watching it, I was eating chips, and she That's really got like and that. she and I think you actually start or did you know liking Anthony Perkins, you know the guy who plays Norman Bates. I mean, I started like most people would be like, oh my god, he's so crazy, so awful, but like. I, this stuff really gets to me. Yeah, and I get really all... sad at stuff. Like, I was like, oh my god, I feel so bad for him. He's so crazy. It's not his fault that he's doing this. Well, actually, kind of what? Well, watch the other he's, psycho movies. He's, but he's crazy, and he's, he goes mad, and it's... Well, like, if you want to know why they went, we all go a little mad sometimes. But if you really want to, just Paige, if you want to learn a bit more about him, then watch Psycho 4. Yeah, there were about four Psycho movies, and then a TV show called Bates Motel. 
So, yeah. And, um, let me share my opinion on the movie. It was just a very twisted, very dark, and very, just, great movie. I mean, it was... May it was, I add? It was... Oh, wait. It was possibly Alfred Hitchcock's first R-rated movie. And that just gave them the liberties to, you know, murder so, the woman in the shower. I mean, look. So, since I, um... It was an old movie, and I'm not really used to the stuff. I was kind of upset with how inaccurate it was, because you know I watch, I like watching like the show Castle, and I like reading mystery and murder mysteries and stuff oh, like yeah. that, you're on, you're on and break. stuff about that. And so I was very upset about how unrealistic it was. Like she was killed in the shower, and then like the blood. Like, everything was so clean. It was in black and white. Yeah, but there, like, you could tell what the blood was. Like, there was, like, barely any blood. And, like... Well, that was the limitation. You're right? dead. That was the limitation. And, well, in the book, actually, in the book, in the book, instead of her getting stabbed to death, she gets beheaded. So there's a lot more blood then. Yeah. Um, and the book is much more, um... You know, violent than the movie. Yeah, the movie was kind of unrealistic at parts. It was like, but it's kind right, of like it's kind of like happen. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, based off the exact same thing that this movie is based off. You don't really see much things, but it's just imagining what it was like. You know, just imagine, and then you know what it really looks like. I I kind of like this movie because, like he said, you said it gets very twisted and dark. Yeah. But I kind of like everything is just so obvious here. Like with real movies, you get so invested and it's so like important. But this is just kind of like she robbed the bank. She came to the hotel. He's crazy. He's gonna kill her. Like everything was very. There were only a few characters, and it was so simple and easy to understand. I really liked it actually. Oh, was, by like, the way, I'm surprised quick thing: it. the main character gets killed in like the first few minutes. Who's the first? Oh, the girl who gets, you know, oh. stabbed in the shower. She was the first main character to come in. Then there was another one, and, you know, she took over the role. Something I might add is that is unrealistic. He, um, hid the car, her car that was parked outside. So he didn't want anyone to know that he had killed her. He hid the car in, like, in, like, a, what would you call it outside? Um, a tar pit. Like, a, like tarp, a tar pit. A tar pit. And... So the cars in that, I was like, like, the police are wondering where she is. They would obviously check the hotel. They did. They did. At, did they you, find the car? Uh, yeah, they did. In the ending, what they did was actually, when it says the end, they see them pulling but, up the car. All right. All right you see them pulling is, up all right, the car. All right. But the thing is, I get, like, he murders people all the time. He's crazy. He's crazy like that. Wouldn't he know better than to... Well, a car in a tarpit he murdered car. someone else. And you know, he was going down the stairs like... Oh, okay, oh, okay, oh. okay, 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 <laughs> okay. You know, but really this movie, I... Re oh, um, by the way, I think you might want to get this. Just saying, just saying. Okay, but really... It's a um, movie. Like, it's very old-fashioned, but it's very simple and to the point. Yeah, but you might want to... Re but, Paige, I think you should probably watch a few, like, black and white movies. I've... Only seen a few. I don't know. Um, um, this is one of the few black and white movies I, I I've seen. It, I ripped it a bit. Do you want mine? Yeah. Okay. Um, I've only seen a few black and white movies. This is one of the few. Um, the other one I think was Gojira and Godzilla Raids again. Uh, you know, those are some of the few uh, black and white things. I think there might be some. So what? What? It doesn't matter. But I'm just looking up at my collection to see if there's any black and white movies in my collection. Uh, I have a few. So, um, and this, uh, Paige, do you think this movie might get you interested in seeing some more Alfred Hitchcock movies? Um, I don't know. I feel like I was pretty, I'm pretty attached to the main idea of this. Well, there movie. are a bunch others. Look, here's only, like, a few. Like, but I feel like other window. movies would be too complicated. I liked how straight and to the point this one was. No, these are pretty, like, they're pretty easy. I mean, listen to Strangers on a Train's plot. All it is is two men want have have a trade for kill killing. So one of them kills one one of the guys, you know, people, and it, one of the guy and well, two guys have a murder swap. Basically, that's it. Okay. That's simple. That's strangers on the train, like 
you know. So. And then there's also movies like Vertigo. Sure. What? I think. So, so overall, Psycho, I give this movie an A plus. Definitely a masterpiece. Not out of ten. No, 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 no. I give it an A plus because it is definitely a masterpiece. I would definitely give it one of Alfred Hitchcock's best. A minus to A because I mean it was a really good movie. Like it was a great movie, but I mean to get an A plus, I mean you have to save. A, but you can't just go around giving A plus that. You have to. Say oh no 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 no! A. I don't do that all Dude, the time. Did you put a label that says TV on your TV? Yep, I did that. This is like the Batcave, by the way. More advertisements. Look at this. It's on an advertisement. Yeah, it was an advertisement. So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I think there will definitely be more Alfred Hitchcock oh. movies to come. Go check out the collab we did on my channel. I did, no, he wouldn't let me do his makeup. He did my makeup, which was pretty bad. But it was funny. So, yeah, I've got someone else waiting to film a video with me right outside the door. Who? Carly. Oh. So, anyway, uh, the video quality is kind of looking a bit like crappy. But, anyway, uh, that's about it for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for to my me. video. And f to me, um... Because I'm, up, up, I'm up to like five subscribers, and when we get up to ten, subscribe to me. I've got none. <clears throat> so, when we get up to ten subscribers on my channel, we will do a collection video. Oh, God. Wait, do you want... Oh, I would like you to subscribe to me so we can get up to ten subscribers. Alright, how about if you get us both up to ten subscribers, I'll... I will do a book collection video because I love books and I have a bunch of my room. And I will do my DVD and Blu-ray collection overview. And we'll probably do a collab with them because, you know, it tends to discover. And yeah. that's like, Ten I mean, it's none, but it's... Hey, I'm up to five. I'm up to three. <laughs> but could you please subscribe to my channel? I subscribe to yours. I'll think about it. I subscribe to channels that I want to see videos for. So, yeah, um, oh please. Oh, no. can you see only the black one? <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, please like, comment, and subscribe for both of our channels to get up to 10 subscribers so she can do her books collection video and I can do my DVD and Blu ray collection video. But it'll probably take a long time. So, more collabs and videos on the way from both of us. So, that's about it. And this is Jared the Collector telling you always trust your instincts because sometimes movies can cheat you.